Yive Video Builder or Yive Mass Video Builder. This is a quick training tutorial on how to be able to take advantage of your thousands of videos that you can make or your single videos. This is a Vidnami replacement or a Vidnami alternative since Vidnami is closing. So what you do is you log in, you click the campaigns button, you click new campaign and then if you're wanting the most vidnami like experience uh, i would suggest going to the spin tax videos this gives you the ability if you want to create thousands of videos or just a single video you just input your script so we're going to go in here we're going to uh, click the button we're going to say next step and then we are going to uh, give it a title so right now i'm actually going to be taking some information from the sales page itself so right here yai video builder what can you do with yai video builder 3.0 all right and then uh, we have that we're going to say next step and then with our keywords we are going to have the keywords that we want so we're going to say like video builder is going to be our keyword right here. Let's say Yive. Yive Video Builder is our keyword. Now, every time that we use the uh, keyword brackets down below, so right here it says keyword brackets, we could just click this, right? And it would actually just say Yive Video Builder because that's our keyword. So that's something that we can do using some spin tax. Um, but what we want to do is uh, we have the ability to select pre-roll buckets if we want. So if we have videos that we want to put with a pre-roll uh, where it's like a call to action video or a click the link below video, uh, we can have those in the custom asset buckets and we can select one. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, then we can do asset keywords. So if we want any asset keywords where it's going to help us pool um, video content for our video itself, then we could put that here. So we could say like, uh, video production, you know, uh, video um, builder, video editing, and then maybe like robot or AI. All right. And then right here, it says search with slide text, search for assets using each slide text. Now, this is where we get in to a lot of the Vidnami functions. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our script right here inside this box, and it's going to scan the words just like Vidnami in our script. And whatever is in our script, it's going to give us options to have clips that correspond with our script. So we're going to do that. So uh, I went ahead and took some text from the uh from the video sales page so we're going to enter that in the script all right so what can you do with yai video builder 3.0 and then uh, this is the block of text and i went ahead and added yai video builder because i want to try to rank for that particular term yai video builder right and uh, if i wanted since yai video builder is my keyword then i could just click the keyword tab anywhere that i want that and it will just automatically spit out my keyword so that makes it a little bit faster if you're trying to rank for particular things. Now on your script, if you want to make sure that a particular line of text is on its own card, the trick inside of Yai Video Builder is to put two spaces in between each line and that will guarantee one, two, that will guarantee that it is on its own card. So if you don't wanna have a ton of text, on one card, then you can make sure that uh, you just hit two lines and that will make sure that it goes on to the next card. Super quick and now I will be doing a training on this later, but in Yai Video Builder, if you want to do spin tax, uh, this is a, a way to be able to do several variations, whether you do a few, a hundred or a thousand variations, you can add spin tax and i will be doing a further training on this in the future uh, a specific video just for this uh, but you can go ahead and um, uh, do a spin bracket right here this is a spin bracket all right and then you can say videos is one variation of the word or you can say like video or 
you know, this is not a good uh, representation, but you could say like movie film or film. And what you do to separate it is this little up and down bar, right? And, uh, you know, you could do a space if you don't want to have any variation there. You can do another bar. And then you can do like, you know, uh, film stock, whatever. And then when you are done doing your variation, you do an end spin bracket. So when it creates this in the script, it will have this exact same sentence. And then the final word will be a variation. Now, uh, a lot of people use spin rewriter to be able to make this entire thing spun very quickly. Um, but you can uh, manually spin it if you want. So you can do a spin bracket, email, and then you go like this and you can go email uh, or you could say like digital mail, stuff like that. So you can hand spin it if you want. Uh, to create variations in your script. And you just want to make sure that as you are reading it, that the variations that you have make sense uh, when they are doing the variation. So like I said, I will have a um, training on this in the future to do just spinning and show you how to do that. Uh, but this is an option that you can choose to give you thousands, hundreds, or just a few variations of the video you're trying to create. Now this is going to change the voiceover and the text overlay inside of the video. Now we want to say, what is our title? Now I already showed you the title up above. That was what we were calling it. So this is our title. And if we want to have a click through URL, you can do that. Uh, or you can have the video description. Well, the thing is we are not going to be using the upload function because this is just the video builder, which gives us the opportunity to use it just like Vidnami. So I'm just going to put this in here. Doesn't matter. And then we'll put keyword. Uh, these are the boxes you would use if you're using the upload function, but that is a monthly price that you have to pay. Uh, starting at $47, but right now we're going to be using the lifetime version of this where we just build video So we don't necessarily need that. So we're going to say save and next and Then here this gives us the ability to really randomize what we want to do So we're gonna have how many slides we want per video and we can go ahead and change this right now It says 15 to 23 and you can just like uh, change this here and it's gonna show you the calculation of the video duration, how long it's gonna be between two and four minutes. So you can move this up and down, say how many slides, and the more variation in slides, the more randomized this video is going to be. And then we can say how long we want the duration per slide to be, so between seven and 10 seconds is good, uh, or we can do you know a little bit more if we wanted. And then it's gonna say you know it's going to change the video duration depending on how long the slides are. So look and feel, animated text overlay on the video. I really like this. This is something that Vidnami doesn't really do. Vidnami just has the, the text overlay itself. So we can actually have this text jump a little bit or have a little bit of motion when it comes in. Uh, I like that because it gives it a little bit more uh, eye appealing function. And then pre-roll timer. If we do have a pre-roll on there, uh, we can say that it's an ad, so we can have the timer. If you don't want a timer counting down how long the ad is going to play, then you click that and there is no pre-roll timer ad. So if you're saying like, hey, thanks for watching this video, click the link below, it's not gonna say that it's an ad, all right? And then with the audio, uh, we have a couple of options here. Now, there is going to be an audio bucket in the custom assets coming up soon where we can actually have our voiceover with our recorded voice that we do. So if we want to record a voice or sounds or background music that we supply, we're gonna have that option to be able to put it in custom asset buckets and be able to overlay that. This voiceover here is the computer generated voiceover. And like I said, inside this Vidnami alternative, the Yive Video Builder not only has the Google voices, just like Vidnami, but it also has Amazon Poly voices as well. So it has double the voices. So uh, right here, we're gonna say background music only, and we're gonna say save and next. And then we're gonna say how many videos we wanna create per day and how many total videos. Now, since we are not using the upload function, you are able to create up to 200 videos per campaign per day. 
So what I would suggest is, you know, create one or two, you know, like two, three, if, if you're going to be making a couple variations and see how they look. And if they look good, then you can change this up to 200 videos per day and it will automatically spit out 200 videos for your text, for your script, and they will all be randomized variations, which is pretty cool. And then total video count. How many do we want to make? Like I said, you can make 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, but you can only make 200 videos per day for a particular campaign. Uh, but most people are going to start off and they're only going to do a few. So with using Yai Video Builder, I would say, you know, make two uh, variations to see how it is, see how you like it. We'll say we're going to make two total videos and we're going to render it automatically. You want this because this is going to pull the video clips it's going to import it it's going to do all of the stuff that you can edit as soon as these are done rendering and then once you do that you're going to say campaign status we want to set it to active and we want it to start immediately so it will start rendering now just like vidnami it will take a little bit for these to render so we're going to go save campaign and then we're going to come up here to the right hand corner and we're going to just say run now all right, and so this is the video right here. This is the video campaign. So what we can do is we can go ahead, see right here it says campaign will run shortly with the Yai Video Builder. So we will go over here to list campaigns and it is going to uh, go ahead and render these out. So it says that we're going to do two per day. We're gonna do two total, the status is on and it is going to create the videos for us. So right here, you see that it is generating our content right now. It'll be a couple minutes until those are ready because it is rendering exactly like Vidnami. It's creating these videos. So once these say generated, then we will be able to get in there and we'll be able to edit them so we can go ahead and edit them on the fly with our uh, scenes, with our text overlay, all that kind of stuff. Now, like I said previously, uh, with Yai Video Builder, you will be able to uh, take away the text overlay on like one or two clips if you wanted to do that, just like Vidnami. Uh, you will also be able to say uh, where you want your text overlay to be, and you can select different pictures and tags exactly like Vidnami. So Yai Video Builder is extremely versatile. All right, so you see right here, it's showing you that it is currently rendering both of those videos. It's counting down how they are rendering. And as soon as it says 100%, we can go ahead and dive in there and start editing that video, All right? So it's at 33% so far. All right, so it took about one minute for them to create. Now it says that they are created. So we can go ahead and click on the video itself and we can see the video that it created. And so we will have the video that it created here. All right, so now that we have that done, all right, we can either download the video or we can come up here and we can say edit. Now, when we go inside the edit box, we are able to change out any clips. So like right here, this one here pulled a sign of Canada. We don't necessarily like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and type in video editing. All right, so we'll, we'll type in video editing. You see here that it is searching for clips that it likes. All right, and so then we can pick it out something that we like a little bit better. So a clip that we enjoy. So we'll go ahead and do that here. And we can go to different clips and say, if we want to uh, change the clip itself, then we can click on any one of the words like you do in Vidnami. And with Yai Video Builder, it will pop up more, more options that you can choose. And uh, I'm going to go for video editing again. All right. And so you're very easily able to edit this on the fly like previously. So we're going to choose this one here. All right. Now up top, we're also able to move around the text position like we uh, wherever we want it to work. 
So we can go ahead and click that. We are able to change our script on the voice. We can do the text to speech or music only. And like I said, we're gonna also have a uh, custom asset bucket where we can do uh, voiceovers that we have created. So that is coming uh, within the next week or so. And then on the slides, we can individually change each one of the slides however we want it. And uh, once we are done and we have selected all of the slides or the pictures that we like, uh, then we will save our change. All right. So once we are done, we come up here and we say save and render. And what it's going to do, it's going to re-render this video how we went ahead and edited it. And then once it is done rendering, then the second video will be down here and we can download that video and it will be ready for us to post anywhere that we like. Now, like I told you previously in the training video that we had, uh, we are going to be able to have different um, sizes for these videos. So uh, if you're running like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, it's going to have the up and down videos. It's going to have the one by one videos, uh, all of the different video variation sizes for all of the social networks. Yai Video Builder will have that. So it is an amazing Vidnami alternative. This Vidnami replacement will give you the opportunity to continue to create videos with the same media library. It's going to have the same functionality and you're also gonna be able to make them en masse. And uh, within the next week or so, they're gonna have the ability so that you can create these, you know, 20, 50 or 100 videos and download them all at the same time so that you can make them for a TikTok campaign or a Facebook campaign or a Instagram campaign, and then you can just have them drip fed and uploaded on whatever platform you're gonna to go to. You can go there and you can schedule your posts and have them uploaded. So hopefully this was informative. If it was, smack that like button and leave a comment on the video. It definitely helps with the algorithm. And if you have any questions, also leave them down below. Thank you so much.